Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Inventive Tech, a channel dedicated to new ultimate gadgets and inventions. In this video, I am going to share 7 versatile watercraft inventions. Make sure you watch this video till the end, because the number one watercraft from this list will blow your mind. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, and I guarantee you will surely love this. Let's get started! Number 7. Manta 5 Hydrofoil E-Bike Designed by New Zealand startup Manta 5, the Hydrofoiler XE1 is a pedal-powered vehicle that lets you ride on water much like you'd ride a wheeled bicycle on land. Hydrofoils work like airplane wings underwater. The faster the craft moves, the more lift is generated by the hydrofoils. By placing the hydrofoils and propeller at the bottom of the XE-1, they remain the only components left in the water at cruising speed, which means you need much less power and energy to maintain your speed. The XE-1 is designed for both calm and choppy water, meaning you can operate it anywhere from lakes and rivers to the open ocean. Number 6. CUDA Underwater Jetpack Archie O'Brien, a design student at Lubaro University, has developed the CUDA while in his final year at Lubaro Design School in Leicestershire, noting that existing products were either too heavy, too slow, or far too expensive. Currently, the functional prototype, CUDA CUDA, is assembled from approximately 45 3D printed parts the majority of which were made out of PLA plastic on an FDM 3D printer. The impeller, crucial to pumping water and propelling the weir forward, was 3D printed through 3D hubs using SLS technology and a carbon fiber reinforced polymer for extra strength. The speed of the CUDA prototype is controlled by a handheld remote, but otherwise leaves the hands free, and direction is altered by moving the body. Number 5. Sublu Seabow The Seabow underwater scooter is the latest release from Sublu. Like the White Shark Mix, the Seabow is a lightweight scooter that is equipped with dual propellers for propulsion. Additionally, the Seabow gives you the option of three speeds, with a top speed of 1.8 meters per second. The Seabow has a battery life of up to 45 minutes and features an OLED screen that displays battery life and speed. Some of the Seabow's other features include a single hand control system, the ability to adjust its buoyancy by adding or removing weights, it's positively buoyant by default, an OLED screen that displays data such as speed and battery life, and dual GoPro compatible camera mounts. Number 4. Cygnet Amphibious Trike Nothing can compare to the adrenaline rush of flying a weight shift amphibious trike over clear blue water and sandy beaches. The airtime aircraft Cygnet and Special Light Sports Aircraft SLSA is the ultimate all-terrain aerial vehicle. Unlike many weight shift trikes, the tandem two-seat design allows a passenger to share the adventure too. Pilots find the Cygnet to be a budget-friendly aircraft due to low maintenance costs and the 4.2 gallons per hour average fuel burn. Furthermore, the 100 horsepower Rotex engine offers a 4-hour endurance cruising at 50 miles per hour. If you are eager to get the most out of your flying day, the Cygnet takes as little as 20 minutes to remove from its custom trailer and setup. In addition, the ability to depart from land or sea increases the pilot's flexibility of departure point. Number 3. Electrojet by Narki Hungarian company Narki claims it's building the world's first electric personal watercraft, PWC, 
designed for proper series production. The Electrojet is a 60 horsepower, 45 kilowatts, carbon bodied electric sit down jet ski capable of doing 35 miles per hour, 55 kilometers per hour, in near silence. It uses an in house single 45 kilowatt electric motor and a lithium ion battery of indeterminate size, which the company claims is good for up to 90 minutes of normal riding. It seats two, maybe three if you're skinny, and it's got a nice digital dash display with what looks like some Bluetooth smartphone integration built in for navigation, weather, and phone features. Number 2. Super Falcon 3S The Deep Flight Super Falcon 3S is a pilot plus two passenger submarine, providing the unique experience of underwater flight. The Super Falcon 3S represents the pinnacle of personal submarine technology, an environmentally friendly battery operated submersible that offers unparalleled underwater flying from the safety, comfort, and style of a personal pressurized and air conditioned cockpit with individual viewing domes. Once submerged, the domes virtually disappear, providing a 360 degree view of the underwater world. Additionally, its in-flight inspired design allows the Super Falcon 3S to glide effortlessly over reefs and cruise alongside marine mammals such as dolphins. The Super Falcon 3S has also been designed with the environment in mind. Its electric and acoustic emissions have been minimalized so as to not disturb marine life, and it never lands on the seabed or reefs. Number 1. Aurora 6 Submarine Seamagin has been the leading submersible technology for over 20 years and offers 2 to 6 person submarine models with depth ratings ranging from 150 meters to 1500 meters. Seamagin's newest Aurora 6 is a 6 person model that offers a remarkably large space for passengers, as well as providing never before offered views of the underworld. The cabin includes four segments providing extensive privacy with the pilot seated in the front and a revolutionary owner's lounge in the rear. This would also be one of the very first subs to offer a private restroom in the back hall. The guest lounge has room for three occupants with swivel seats enabled for best views on either side. The Aurora 6 provides an easy boarding entry with rails up the upper deck, a large entry hatch, staircase, and maximum space with rotating chairs and convertible seating that provides room for the occupants to move to their seats. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Let me know by commenting below which watercraft you like the most. If you want to know more about any of these watercrafts then the links are in my description. That's all for today. If you like this video then support us by sharing with your family and friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. See you in the next video.